What's going on? My name is Nori Plays, and welcome back again to another Volleyball 4.2 tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to cover back row and what makes a good back row player. Any tips I can give as a guide to how you play back row, what powers you use and where, where you should be positioning against the spiker, and just general advice like that. So let's go ahead and get started by introducing you guys to positioning and the kind of positioning that you should be doing to be a good back row player so there's two different types of back row players there's a libero and there's just a back row back left back right player and i'll quickly explain what a libero does for those of you that don't know libero is like a defensive specialist they can't spike so they can't go up for the spikes that are behind the line uh they can set but only behind the line as well but they can't get the ball over the net with any sort of spikes so they just specialize in defense and what a libero does is cover shorts so this whole line is the libero's job libero covers this whole line here and kind of like the general area and they're responsible for receiving the blocks. So if you're... Say you had a spiker here. And they spiked it. They get blocked and it rebounds. That's a libero's job to get that block as well. Uh, so that's a libero covered. And the power that you should be using when you're a libero. Depends on how far you are behind this line. Here so... I'd say if you're on this line. Power 2 is just about good enough. As you can see, that went over. But the safest power, if you're a libero, libero sorry, is one. So you, you always want to use one power. Anywhere you go is libero, unless you're diagonal like this. And you want to get it to the center. Then by all means, up the power to two. But any higher than that is probably risky. And I wouldn't recommend going higher than two. For libero. So... There you go, there's a libero. And how do you read blocks? So, if you imagine a blocker right here, and I spike this way, if he blocks it, imagine like a right angle bounce trajectory that bounces sideways. So, I, I will hopefully try and show a diagram of what I mean about how rebounds work. But you basically need to understand that if a spiker is angling like this, the ball is going to end up bouncing back on this side. And if they spike straight, it's just going to bounce straight back um, without turning. So that's all you really need to understand for receiving blocks is that you look at your spiker and where they're aiming and move to the opposite side of where they are. Or, but, or if they're just facing straight, go straight behind them. So if they're aiming this way, and they're spiking this way, move as a libero to over here, and try receive it. If they're aiming this way, it's the opposite, so you would be over here. So that about covers libero, I think. Let's move on to regular back row players, which is left back and right back. So these guys' job is to cover for the libero, because the libero can only cover the short balls here. So the left back and the right back cover longs. Now longs are very hard to receive because of how powerful and how fast they go. But eventually you'll get the hang of the reaction time. The main power you should be using to receive by the way. As a left back and right back is 3 or 4. Uh, that's because you're gonna be around here most of the time and from here as you can see free is just about acceptable but if it's really if you're really far and you're receiving get it to four and one tip for being a back row player is to set your powers properly and as you can see i have them set to three six and fifteen accordingly with zxc I use default controls by the way, I recommend using default controls if you want to be good, but you can change those controls, that's a whole other video, and I'm not going to cover that in this video. So, as you can see, free power, 
That's because you can um, safely receive even from like here with free as long as you aim it to the side, right? See, even then it goes over, but I have a clip of me being pretty much here. But because I didn't want it to go over, I compensated and aimed a bit further to the side so that the ball still drops on our half. And receiving longs is, as I said, very difficult if you're starting out. What I recommend is moving with your libero. So if your libero moves here, the left back would move around here, and the right back would follow to around here. Which leaves this area open, yes, but the blockers are probably going to have that covered for you. So... Being a back row player is all about paying attention to what your t front row is doing a lot of the time. Because say if a blocker is here, left, left wing spiker is here, that means there's a gap between the setter and the wing spiker here. So there's, you need to calculate the possible angles and try guess where they're aiming. Or if they're delaying it, you can look at where they're gliding and kind of read where they're facing, and then react as well. So yeah, what else is there? Diving! So diving you can also use as like a last resort, but don't rely on diving too much, because that's going to give you a bad habit. And ball, the ball, if usually if it's long or even short, and it's really powerful, like a power 15, for example, and you dive at it, it's gonna go over the net a lot of the time. So that's why I say you don't want to dive a lot of the time because the dive, you can't really aim either. So it's gonna be really hard to recover the ball after that. So use it as last resort. And one way to do that is to receive. And then if you see it going past you, like left, right, then dive. So you'd receive, dive like this to either side, you would flick your shift lock to where the ball is, like that. And also, the hitbox of a dive is really big. Um, as you saw, like, from the... See? I barely touch it, and I still get it. So you could use that to your advantage to reach the ball if you need to. And I really mean need to. But yeah, um... Let's see, as back row, you can also spike. If you're left back or right back, libero obviously cannot spike. And for that, I'd recommend sprinting. Like that. But don't try jump on top of your spiker, otherwise you will get flamed. Don't blame me for that, if that ever happens. Because that is called a steal. So you steal this the, the spike that this spiker is about to get as like a decoy, as a quick... So a lot of people can get mad at that as well, so don't abuse it too much if you're back row. Just do it every now and then, you know, just to surprise your opponents. But don't spam it, because that's that's not going to be a happy time for your teammates. Let's just say that. So receiving serves is the final thing I want to talk about. Now, for receiving serves, it's actually pretty simple. Depending on your position, you stick to an area around you. Uh, so say I'm lib, this is my area, left back covers this whole area, and right back this whole area. So you can imagine three big circles in one area. And for receiving, if you're lib, uh, you actually want to drop back a bit for serves. And you know, just spam T like every second. Practice doing this until you get the hang of it, because this makes you walk so much faster. And you can do this for both left back and right back as well, by the way. So I recommend just sprinting, you know, just getting the hang of it. And then you look at where they're aiming. So, you know, for my glide serve, I do this, this. You look at the last section of where I jump. So you look at how the server jumps and then react to where they're aiming. And if it's short, it's probably gonna be slow enough for you to get it anyway, but the Libero should get those, or even the Wing Spikers when they drop back. But that's like a whole other video as well, on formations. But I hope that about covers receiving 
and being a, a back row player. I also include two clips of me receiving with power free from a scrim I played today. So I hope you can find that useful as well. If you found this helpful at all, please comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next for the Volleyball 4.2 tutorials. Subscribe, like, etc, etc. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.